right, Taurus, this is your gay tarot reading. Let's do the wheel. Okay, I just did the Aries. Woo! Number three popped out. I'm getting three arrows. One and then three arrows. Eyes open, it says. Okay. Woo! Woo! They're shooting out. Woo! Shooting for the stars. All right. Okay. Last call for Taurus. <laughs> Last call for Taurus. <laughs> Any messages? All right, okay, so that's it there. All right, let's bring this down. All right, let's see what came out here. I feel like, yeah, there's some in the back. Okay, that flew over here. Let's see, one over here. Okay, what's that? One under here that flew. Oh no, yeah, there is one here. I knew it. Okay, all right. Oh, there's another one here. Is that it? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's see. Taurus, okay. So uh, this could be for Taurus or Scorpio, I'm getting. Okay, now that's Taurus or Scorpio. Okay. I feel like Scorpio is a popular sign. I was doing another reading and then Scorpio popped up. Oh, I think it was in the Pisces reading. <laughs> okay, and then Pisces here. So, I'm getting four energy. That's what I'm getting, four energy. It's trying to decide. Oh, that's a little bit of the Aries energy here. It's like trying to decide if you want to take someone's offer. A little of that energy is here for someone. Okay, now. All right, now let's see. Trying to decide. It's like you got a message and you, you're wondering if you should say yes or not. And you've been thinking about it. Okay, so I'm getting like you were lounging around thinking about it uh, and trying to decide. Okay, now... Okay, so this could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, there's an offer here. So for some of you, it's you want to give an offer to a water sign or someone who has emotional intelligence or knows would be an emotional, uh, it would be a nice emotional exchange. Now, this one has like a, uh, looks like a... Um, could be from Canada. I got like maple leaf, but actually it's a crown. Okay, so might be someone. Hmm. Some of you might have to travel. Okay, some of you might have to travel to go meet your person for love. That's what I'm getting. All right, so if there's someone of interest, they're saying give a little flirt or a little text and see where it goes. There is, you don't have to uh, overthink it. Just give a couple of texts, you know, even if they don't answer you the first time. And uh, give it a shot. You might um, get lucky. Because I just got, what is that? It's like get lucky. Is that lover boy? <laughs> oh, we're going back here. <laughs> Okay, so get lucky. Isn't that the name of their album or something? Okay, anyway, are they Canadians? I'm getting the feeling that they are. Okay, anyway, so there could be some sort of message from a Canadian. All right, now what is that? Okay, so the other thing could be it's like you're getting some sort of message from a Canadian from a distance. They might be traveling to come see you. And I 
Now for some of you, this could be like thinking about uh, ways to uh, get closer together. Okay. Because it's like, see, it's like leaving these little messages or trail and it leads to something greater and you it's like you both give exchanges and I feel like this Pisces energy represents the water that you have to cross now for some of you that's like if you're talking about work it might be some sort of uh, strategic plans I'm getting chess strategic plans to um what oh startup do startup things okay that's what i'm getting all right now let's see what else oh and eyes open look for color stories record the color of buildings on one particular block okay I was getting real estate the other day. Okay, now well, I just got it's Greek to me, but you know how Greece has like these really pretty blue and white uh, buildings and stuff. I kind of got that feeling by the ocean and. Uh, really pretty color schemes and stuff, but I was also getting like different building colors uh, in different parts of the United States where they have uh, Color is a thing, right? It's like different color houses. Okay, so Let me see what else I get with that so I'm getting, that's what I was getting, real estate. One block of Dia Village, Greece! Oh my gosh! Okay. All right, so, wow. Okay. Sometimes I, I question myself. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, now for some of you that Pisces card that came out was like tapping into your psychic abilities right okay so what is that it's like uh, that that was like remote viewing for me practice okay so it's like seeing beyond what is here and then oh we got one of these cards again so it's like with this what do you see right okay these are kind of like the things they use in psychology. It's like, what do you see here? And that might be some sort of insight into uh, how you think and feel in the moment. All right. Now, what I see is mercury energy, communication. That's what I see here. So for some of you, that's Virgo. And... Um, I'm getting the three of pentacles here too again the gems right okay all right let's flip this and see what do you see i'm seeing joy this yellow happiness and i'm also seeing like um Oh, okay, so what I'm seeing is like, you know, on Procreate, they have those um, pins that you can uh, do that uh, with. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay, Procreate. So there may be some sort of app that's going to help you go next level in your creativity. So sometimes searching different kinds of apps for what you're trying to build uh, may be of assistance okay now they're showing me like geography maps and uh, stuff like that's popping up so 
All right, so it might be, uh, for some of you, you might be a builder or an architect, okay. And um, also, um, in that movie, what was it that I saw the other day? Avatar, right? Um, the one who created it had like all these board, um, had all these, uh, if you go watch the second one, I think it was the second one I watched, and you they had like he had created these storyboards, okay, like in movies, and but except it's for well, it might be a movie for some of you, but for some of you, it's like other kinds of business, and creating a storyboard will help bring new life and new meaning to uh, whatever you're building. That's what I'm getting. All right, now if it's a love story right a romance story it's like you know you can um get quiet and you can do uh different kinds of uh cut and paste i'm getting okay and make a storyboard of your love story or love feeling cut out okay um I would like a lover with this quality, you know, uh, that's all stuff on the outside though. Inside, right, there is this loving world that's beyond what is on the physical. So I feel like get that and work, the, it's like um, do a collage of that. Okay, now. All right, so let's see what this tarot deck says. Oh, no, I want to get the dance cards. Okay, but first I want to get see what the tarot. All right, so. Now, for some of you, you were connected with younger people, and they went into a direction that may not have felt uh, comfortable for you. Okay, that's so that caused um, to uh, pause. That came out in another card, too, and not wanting to give to it, or, um, wow, isn't that wild? Okay, I took each card out, and I put it in between each separate card, and then the, some of the same cards came out. How does that happen? That's like magic. <laughs> Okay, so now, I think what your heart is saying, move swiftly. And, uh, move swiftly. Even if, uh, you don't feel like you'll fill in. This is feeling like Libra energy to me. In your reading. Alright, now. But this fell out. You got three of pentacles and the knight of cups. And that's kind of what I got here. Okay. All right. Now. So the suggestion is if you're thinking about offering love to somebody, turn those dials and the clock is ticking. I'm getting this as an internal clock. Clock is ticking, so keep moving towards that. Something will blossom. That's what I'm getting. All right, now what's the next car? Woo! Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so it might be tropical or somewhere that has these flamingos. That could be like, what, Miami or something? All right, for some of you. Okay. Now, where else are they? They're in different places. Okay, but anyway, so maybe, uh, oh, I'm getting tree pose. Okay, so tree pose, because they step on one leg. Okay, and so for some of you, that tree pose might be some sort of yoga class or a restorative yoga class even. Okay. Now, for some of you, since that fire was there, it might be uh, that hot sweat yoga. I can't do that. I, d I took one class once, <laughs> and I was like, okay. I'm like, I'm in the South. It's hot enough. 
I just roasted myself. <laughs> I paid someone to do it. <laughs> okay, now see, this is the challenge, is the four pinnacles, not giving to it. Okay, now whatever it is, this came up in the Aries energy was, even if you can't give a whole lot back, give something back to someone that's giving to you. And um, even if it's like, you know, a piece of candy or a box of candy or something. I feel like that would make the difference. Okay. Oh, yeah. And that came up a week ago. It was like giving back. Like like someone gives you something, at least give back like a quarter of that. Okay. All right. So King of Wands. Now, for some of you who are the givers, it might be asking to be in the receptive mode for what is coming. Okay, so King of Wands. So, see, that's interesting because Aries got the same thing. So, you may be busy on working and you're creative, moving your creative force. So, are you going to give to love? Let's see. Okay. You got the Capricorn card. I feel like it's calling for movement and stability. Oh, that was the challenge. Some of you in the past had a partner that caused instability. And if it like shook your foundation. So that could be the challenge. Let me get another one. All right, but they said keep turning that dial and keep moving. Okay. Oh, I just pulled these already. Okay, all right, so keep moving. All right, and... And it, it'll just naturally transform. It's not, you don't have to do a whole lot of overthinking. Okay, now what is that? I'm getting kundalini again with the snake. Okay, so that might be something that you might meet your person in, a, a yoga class. One, two, three, oh, five, six, seven. Seven of Pentacles. Try, the message is repeating. It's like try working on it. Come together with them or come together with your ideas, your sparks of creativity and build. Okay, the, this is the Libra energy. I was, this is... Okay, so if you're harnessing Aries energy, that may be some of that opposite energy. Libra. Okay, so what I'm getting is sometimes because of it you show a cool exterior, but you really want to show your warm, sweet side. That's what I'm getting with that. And then that's that residual energy. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. you. Uh, what I know you don't want is someone who's an in-and-out kind of person. That's like... Uh, Yeah, that's definitely, that's a definite no. Yeah, that, see, that's the thing. It's whoever that was that caused a heartache. All right. Yeah. Nine of Wands, yep. Yeah, whoever it was that broke your heart, you got to, now a lot of the readings say that, right? Now, it doesn't have to be a past lover. It could be any kind of residual energy. That's what I'm getting. All right. This is your time to shine. So keep moving in your flow. Let's see. Okay, Ron and Ager, co-creation. I unite with the power of love. Okay, so that's what your soul is calling for you to do. All right. Goddess etiquette, detachment, I choose me. Okay, now what I'm getting is for a lot of you, you've gone through this period, I choose me. 
And from this I choose me point, you want to choose another. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate, that probably um, isn't the story for you. Okay, so what am I getting here? Yeah, it's like your glow up right after the storm. And then here is, what is this? Copacati, rebirth, I am reborn. So that's what I was getting. You had some time for yourself, but now you're entertaining the idea of another again. Okay, and I feel like Oh, and this one's got a snake body. Okay, so maybe kundalini yoga might be a class. <laughs> okay. Now, if you're a Libra and you're here, that could be you being reborn. And the challenge is to open your heart and mind some more. Because I picked up that Aries energy, which could be a leader or a boss or... Okay, and then I picked up UAE for some reason here. Okay, so... It could be someone Middle Eastern that's coming into your experience that is... Uh, now here I'm picking up Thailand, Middle East... <laughs> All right, now what is this? Oh, here's that thing that I was picking up. It's that um, that bathhouse thing. Okay, rejuvenation. I cherish time I devote to myself. All right. But the one I got was like outdoors, and it was like two men building something, and then it's like, ha, ah, like that, you know? All right, so it might be like renovations, right? on the 3d level it could be like building and renovations in the physical world but it was also like that rebuild from within okay that's what i'm getting yeah and it's like you're ready to move and give energy to someone who's devoted to you as much as you are devoted to yourself and self-worth and self-love and uh, your glamour, your opulence. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, that's the star energy, right? Glamour, opulence, in the light. Okay, now this three came up in the other reading, but I'm getting it for you too. So, all right. So I feel like um, there's going to be some, a lot of green lights in, uh, in the work area. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, so we'll close out with a pearl of wisdom. The little things make all the difference. Yeah, it's like little victories along the way, right? If it's not like one huge one, right? It could be... The victory for today. The victory for today. The victory for today, right? All right. And it could be emotional victories for some of you. I will speak with confidence and self-assurance. And I feel like if that's you, uh, the star card proves that you will. All right. To be happy, we must not be too concerned with others. Right. Okay. So what are you giving real estate in your mind, right? That which does not kill us makes us stronger. Okay. And trust yourself in your own judgment, right? That's so important. I will achieve all my goals. Never let the odds keep you from doing what you know in your heart you are meant to do. I'll leave you with that. <laughs>